With uh, Chase Young and why you guys felt like he was maybe the rush there. Yeah, he, he, you know, he's a good player and, and he had an opportunity to uh, you know, sign a good player. Um, you know, it's a good opportunity for both of us, really. It, that's just the end of the day. He's had a, a pretty interesting career in terms of just like, you know, really strong first season, he's had some injuries since then. Yeah. How do you feel kind of about his health? And yeah, I mean, listen, we, we, we uh, you know, did all our due diligence. We were aware that, it, you know, uh, he was going to need some work and, and uh, we're optimistic about that. And, uh, yeah, listen, he's, he's a wonderful talent, had a great first season, and then he's had some injuries to deal with. And, um, yeah, but, you know, he's a young player still with, with uh, a lot of desire. And, and uh, look, I'm, I'm excited to have him. We're excited to have him. That was something I assume he was dealing with on the field. Is the idea that if he gets a stunt, like maybe that'll even help him yeah. play a little better? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And when and he you, didn't look at it, I think he played pretty well this last year, too. Yeah, I was going to say, when you watched him, like, did you see the neck affect him at all? or is that? Yeah, I wouldn't say that we did, no. It, it, um, yeah, I wouldn't say there was anything that you, know, you would watch and say, oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. So that wasn't the case at all. It's kind of the idea of this offseason that, uh, and you mentioned this at the combat, just are you guys really going through that process of trying to get a little bit of yeah, a cleaner cap and absolutely. all these moves kind of telling the same story? Just yeah, I, you know, I think we've, you know, we're in that mode right now. We've got to, you know, recover from, from you know, some of the things that, that happened with COVID and the contracts that we did in the past. And so not as active in free agency maybe as you'd like to be at times. Um, and, and look, I think we're probably going to be in that mood for another year or so. That's kind of the realistic timetable is maybe this year and next yeah. year, and then you're kind of where you want to be? Yeah, hopefully, yeah. It, again, that part of that depends upon how we perform, you know, how players perform, how, how our team performs, what the cap is. There's a lot of variables that go with that. Um, um, so, yeah, we've we got to get our fan back on pace. Um, and it was, it was knocked off pace by, by the... Uh, COVID and, you know, the reduction in the cap and all the things that came with it. So you guys just approached the offseason with the wants and needs yeah. list. Yeah. Where are you in that process? Yeah, we're in the middle of it. <laughs> 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 yeah, we got the must wants and needs and, and we've got some of it taken care of and, and uh, you know, there's still free agency still going on. We have you know, an opportunity during this draft to uh, add some players and, and then... Uh, you know, there's always the trade route as well, so we'll leave no stone unturned. How does Chase factor into how you kind of view the pass catching group as a whole? Yeah, look, like I, to add there I think, yeah, listen, I think that uh, um, we're kind of excited about that group. Um, you know, we've got a good mix of veterans and young players and, and guys that we have you know, high expectations for, and, that, and what's really exciting is that we have a lot of guys that have high expectations for themselves. So we'll see how that goes. What does the addition of Willie Gay Jr. do to the defense? Yeah, listen, he's a he's a good player. Uh, I think I think there's he's get, he's going to push our guys. He's going to be competing. He's going to you know, have an opportunity to play a lot of downs for us. And, and uh, you know, particularly with Zach Bond uh, moving on to another team, you know, we need we had a need there. And so we've got again we've got we've got a group of guys that we like. Um, and, and uh, you know, led by Demario, and so I would say that was that was a good addition. And how important was it to get contract renegotiations done with guys like Demario? Yeah, and but they're team? important because a of our cap situation, and b because we're trying to you know, we're trying to manage all this together. Um, it allows us to you know keep our group together. Allows us to manage our way out of. Uh, uh, the cap situation and remain competitive, and so all of it's connected. With the guy, with the way you guys went about that, or, or when you talk about like cleaning the cap, like like Tyron's deal, for instance, mm -hmm. adding on that extra year, but kind of lowering the salary—is yeah. that kind of yeah? Maybe well, it's all part of it. You know, all these things are—they're they're not independent of each other. They're all connected. It's a, it's a big puzzle, um, and that's what makes it complicated. Any one of these individual deals are not complicated, but. You know, piecing it all together and having it planned out for a period of time, you know, two and three years out, that's what gets complicated. Is going the pay cut route something you guys feel like you were able to do more a little this year? 
The what route? The, the pay cut route? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say that that's, yeah, you know, it's just like, again, I don't know how to answer that because it's all so connected. What are some of the things you guys liked about uh, Peterman? Yeah, I think number one is that his comfort level in, in uh, you know, with, with, uh, with Derek, he had some experience in the system, and so there was a lot of synergies there. And then uh, Chinoko, I believe, he worked with them too. Is yeah. there stuff that just yeah. like there's, he brings to that yeah, meeting room that's better valuable? Yes, there's yeah. some connections there. Um, yeah. Is that signing also kind of maybe related to see where Jake is at? Just in terms of whether he can see that, sees that backup? Yeah, I, d I don't think they're connected. Uh, we're excited about Jake. Excited about, about um, what he did for us in you know, his first year and, and, and going forward. So. Do you feel like he is maybe ready to step into that backup role? If yeah, well, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna find out, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. So, look, you need more than one quarterback, yeah. right? Um, With Chase, how did you guys feel about his knee? I mean, that was also the major yeah, thing. Yeah, felt fine about it. Yep. We did, you know, like I said, we did our due diligence on, um, on all the physical aspects, and, and we feel good about him. You guys also uh, moved on from Michael Thomas, or if that came to an end. Yeah, I, yeah, let's see where that ends up. Uh, I'm not sure how much you have to do with this, but um, how is Super Bowl preparation going, or would that be? I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> 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 That'd be bad for Dennis. <laughs> That'd be good for Dennis. Yes. But look, I, listen, I love the Super Bowl, and this is independent of me being with the Saints. I love the Super Bowl when it's in New Orleans. I uh, loved it before I got here. Um, I think we're the perfect city for the Super Bowl, and, and uh, for up to me, it'd be, it'd be in New Orleans every two or three years. And I think yeah, if we're up to a lot of people, that would be the case. Could you expand on what you meant by, we'll see where that ends up with Thomas? Yeah. No. <laughs> what I said is what I said. Okay. Oh, I guess it's like, is that door still open for you guys, or yeah. is that? Again, I, I've already said I'm going to come in right now, so I don't want any more comments. Mickey, what do you think about the league? trying the competition passing the, the rule and the hip drop. Yeah, look, I think it was necessary. Um, we, we understand the play and understand how, um, you know, devastating it can be in terms of injury. And, and uh, so I understand it. I um, understand why we need to get it out of the game. I know Riz has been doing a lot of work on the, uh, the kickoff. Yeah, role. sure has. Yeah. How, how would that change things if, if that gets passed? Like, does that change anything with how you well, build special teams? Yeah, it's a good question, um, and I think that's part of the equation here. Is, is you know, and we don't have all the answers to that because we haven't seen it. We haven't really seen it in our league yet. So, how does that change the makeup of your roster? I don't think it's going to be real significant, but it'll be you know there'll be some tweaks. Um, and and look, we support that uh, that change. I think. And we need to do something to get the kickoff back in the game, and, and I think this is this is a, a, a you know viable solution. I, you know, we'll see if it gets voted in or not, but but uh, I think the kickoffs were the most exciting play in our game. And so when you're down to you know, only getting twenty percent of the kickoffs returned, then you know, we need to do something. Same kind of status quo for Marshawn Lattimore. At the last time we talked. Yeah, nothing changed. How is the cornerback market kind of effective whether you do or don't make a move there? Yeah, I, 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 don't, I haven't said that we're going to make a move, so. Right. I don't, I don't know. Nobody's made an offer we can refuse on any player, so, you know, that's, I don't have any, I don't have any comments on that.